Fabio, I'm not sure I agree with you. I, I think if we go up a level of, of abstraction, pure what I would call extraction, that is a few rich people control both the political and economic power, that was pretty enduring for thousands of years, all the way from the pharaohs to Henry VIII. Um, and that was a kind of dominant mode of organizing humans is a few people basically got everything. And that was pretty much what it was like almost everywhere. And what we saw, you pick a number, 300 years ago with the city-states in Italy and the real beginnings of the development of the free market and the sort of first moves towards democracy, very partial by our standards, that's relatively recent maybe 300, maybe 200, we could even say 100 years to modern capitalism that we see now with financialization of markets and so on, a global, you know, the global capital markets. So I think, you know, it's, it's relatively recent. Do I think it will survive at least another couple of hundred years? I'd be very surprised if it did not. It might not. You can absolutely see a scenario where civilization starts to break if um, climate change is really left unchecked and we see the worst effects, you could see a fragmentation of the global markets. You could see widespread revulsion at private ownership of capital and a kind of demand for governments to step in. But right now that seems unlikely. I mean, look at global levels of trust in governments that people, this, this I find extraordinary, People trust business more than they trust government, which historically is completely unprecedented. Yeah. And business has a great deal of power. It has a lot of social legitimacy. For many people, the institution they trust the most is not their church or their school or their government. It's the firm where they work. And, and they, they have all the money. <laughs> so... <laughs> I, I think this is going to be pretty robust. Now, I'm a big proponent of radical reform. I think capitalism should reform itself to survive. I think if it doesn't reform, if it doesn't become more equitable, if it doesn't start to take account of externalities, the risk of really significant populist backlash, which will essentially give us a form of crony capitalism like uh, Putin's Russia, is I think quite real. And you know, is Putin's Russia capitalism? Not really, it, it's straight back to extraction and a few people own, own everything. So I think that's the risk. And so I'm paradoxically in the position of saying, no, you know, capitalism has huge numbers of problems, big problems. I don't wanna go back to extraction. I want to reform what we have. And I think the best case for radical reform is otherwise we'll go back to extraction. <laughs>